<laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't think I was going to hit the button that quick. I mean, I didn't think it was going to take that. Anywho. <laughs> we're going to do raw love. We're going to do Aquarius. Okay. We're going to do August 15th to the 31st. Maybe you're on the go. I don't know. You're eating it on the go. I have no idea. It normally gives me more time. And it kind of just went really, really quick there. So... I don't know if the energy is going really quick for you. Um, I'm on my back, so I, I uh, hurt my back, so I'm kind of in bed, hanging out. Um, oh, I don't know which one came out first. All right, hold on. Aquarius, please. All right. Ooh, lots of pink for you. Golden Dragon. The Atlantic Gift Dragon. Something with the Atlantis. It's bringing back gifts, knowledge, talents. It's like reclaim your mastery. So it's like something you're really good at. A quartz crystal might be really good for you right now. Not even a rose quartz, right? Because of the pink. A quartz crystal. It's like awaken knowledge gifts talents so say yeah you're talented spirit spiritually talented but you're not using them is kind of what i'm getting from that it's like it's it's bringing it back and then at the bottom of the deck over here just another pink one open your heart connect with the love of the universe so not necessarily someone is 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 connecting to the universe. I, it's, it's pretty strong. Okay. So I do feel like in one of the readings I did today, the 8 8, the Lion's Gate, um, I did feel an energy of, of someone that lost touch with the universe. Whether you feel that way or not, whether you're a cross watcher or you got strong Aquarian in your chart, yes, you got to get back in tune with the universe, okay, this is what it's saying to me, so, Aquarius, Aquarius, whoa, so you got the messenger of air and the messenger of water, so, but you're ignoring, to me, it's, you might even be ignoring your intuition right off the bat, okay, um, but, I don't know if you're confused about a situation. Holy crap. Now you got the messages of fire. Look at me. You're not looking at any of these messages. Or whatever's coming your way. Or what are, I mean, hello. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. If you're a cross watcher, you're probably like, I know what she's talking about. <laughs> and then the page of air. But one more for an Aquarius. Like, what is happening here? It's like, it's like putting your mind to something, right? And, and then wanting to deliver it is two different things. But it's like you're feeling like you're like you're ready for something, right? Like this one just wants to come out, and it's the sun, and you got the Ace of Water. Oh, that's I'm like oh, that's sweet, right? Um, let's move it back. Well, your third eye is opening, but um, I feel like you you want to give this message within a time frame between now and October. But this is the energy for the rest of the month. Or you're going towards a Leo, or a Leo is going to come towards you. So, this is like you getting universal messages. I mean, it's it's clear as day. Oh, there's a card right there. Tell me about the messenger of air. 
and it's the sun. I don't know why I went to put that back. So it's like a, it's like you are looking at this one message, and it is linked to the sun. So it's, it seems to be linked to an, a Leo, or it's just this energy. This growth, this sunshine, it's like about the messenger of water. I got the can of cups of verse there. Tell me about the messenger of water real quick. It's like, but you're bored. It's like there's an offer that you're about to give or vice versa, but there's boredom attached to it. I don't know if there's like a challenge Something's not a challenge for you anymore, and you're like, you're bored. Tell me about the messenger of fire. But then it's like you get this spike, this drive. Something like this energy of being assertive. These are all like universal messages, okay? And it's like the death card. So you're not, there's not synergy when it comes to something, especially if you're dealing with a Leo. But to me, it's like not accepting a transformation, like, or you're not tolerating somebody else's bullshit that they're coming at you with. It's something like that. Um, tell me about the sun. Queen of Cups. So that's a Cancer. Got a Cappy right here too. There's no balance between you and someone. If this is you coming towards someone, you're only doing it out of boredom. So either somebody coming towards you or vice versa it doesn't look like the best intent. But you're intended on sending a message or vice versa. Tell me about this Four of Cups. And it's ironic because you pulled two cards about getting in tune with who you are, getting in tune with the universe. Right, and it's like that's the least thing from your mind right now. So that is a big message for my Aquarians. All right, so it's like you're the magician. You have all the tools. You have everything you need to move forward to bake the cake or whatever it is that's necessary. Like, but it's like you're bored. So I don't know if I like that combo. Tell me about the magician, because then it's like, because it's like being able to create but it's like mm, do I want to do I like I don't I don't know what this energy is all about but it's like don't take a new opportunity out of boredom don't do that right yeah because whatever this is is it requires patience time it's an investment there needs to be synergy you're not accepting something or vice versa tell me about the queen of cups you could be a strong cancer in Aquarius energy right now is dealing with Leo energy and Sag energy. Leo, Sag, Cap. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. It's the King of Wands reverse. So see what I'm saying? It's like you're not putting, this Queen of Cups is putting no effort into like an Aries energy or, or something. She totally feels like someone has not learned a lesson. You're dealing, see, but see, she's smart. If you're the Aquarius dealing with a cancer or vice versa, like, there, somebody did not learn a lesson, not, does not know how to have synergy in a, in a situation yet. So this is either you or them. I don't like it. Because it's like, you're bored. I'm just going to send a message because I'm bored. Maybe you want to see what somebody is up to or vice versa. Tell me about the sun. Be careful here because this is energy that they, they're stressing to my Aquarians. All right. Can of cups reverse? It's, it's like not, not talking, not, it's like the lid shut. So the energy that the universe is stressing, that's pretty powerful. That's right here. That's not even here. Right. So it's like, you're up to something or vice versa. So be careful. Because this is all about getting in tune with your gifts, talents. So say you have this type of talent, and it looks like you do. But it's like you're not 
You're not using it. You're not mastering it when, once again, you can reclaim it. Reclaim it. Like, obviously, there was some type of offer, some type of message, something before that you would have to invest time in, and you dismissed it. You need to reclaim it. That's why this is reversed. There's no synergy in your life right now. It's because you're not in tune with the universe. You need to open up your heart. You need to reconnect with the higher facts. Okay? Um, you have to connect with the love of the universe. If you're not big on crystals, wear some pink, you know. Throw some pink socks on, some, however it works for you. Okay, you got to get back on track. Say you could hear. You had the gift of healing. He hearing or healing, right? But it's like it would freak you out or you wouldn't acknowledge it, right? You dismissed it. Bring it back. It's, you're capable of bringing it back. It, I think at the time when that was going down for you, you weren't having it. But now it's different. It's like you're so out of tune with the universe, but the universe is saying you got to get in tune with the universe again. And it's just 11 11. Okay. So I wish you luck. Um, self love is, is, is key. Let me look at this real quick. Tell me about the ace of water. Self respect, self love, acknowledgement, the staff. That's you. You do have the empress at the bottom of the deck with the ten of cups. I don't know what that's about, but nurture you, take care of you. You know your worth. There's something underlined here. I don't know if it's hit you yet or not, but love is coming to you. And it's, the universe is bringing it to you, or you're about to bring the universe back into your world, and therefore love will come. Either way, love is coming, whether it's physical or it's a connection through the divine. It's up to you whether or not you want to manifest something. Okay? So, please get in tune with the universe. I love you.